I just want to share an experience I just had. I'm deeply spiritual. I've shared a lot of what I've been through. I have gifts, most of which I haven't unlocked yet. I've had other psychic mediums tell me um, of the gifts I have. I've had wonderful sessions with people. The thing with me is my mind's always busy. I'm always got a million things on my mind to do. So it's very rare that I just sit still and receive like pure messages. When I do, it, like it's mesmerizing. Today I'm quite emotional, very emotional. There's a lot missing in my life and a lot of weight on me. I have so much expectation of myself. It's it's you could say it's unrealistic. But I don't give up, you know. Incredibly ambitious. I have a drive to succeed. But at the moment I have nothing. Like literally every area of my life is like a cross in it. And I'm like, this isn't fair. You know, I do good things. I try and help people. I'm I know it's all a lesson. Sometimes it's to bring you down to build you up. It's all those sort of things. It's for a purpose. But I say, I say it feels like a punishment. And I I got incredibly emotional because it feels like a punishment sometimes. And I'm like, this is just so unfair. Like some people have something or some one of this, that or that, and I have none of it. It's a struggle and it's so much sometimes, you know. So I closed my eyes while I was listening to some music. A certain song came on it just settled me down because it's to be honest it's I absolutely love it ashley mcbride i can't remember the actual name of the song going nowhere something i can't remember the name of the song it's such a beautiful song when it comes on and then while i was in the middle of this other song um a vision came to me and i was like whoa uh, you know i let it play out it was it was so clear Sometimes when I try, I try too hard and I don't get anything. When I'm not even trying, a beautiful vision comes. Bear in mind, I'm like, I'm like, if you see a lot of signs about huge success coming in the future, like recognition, wealth, um, living the life of your dreams, living peaceful, you know, married, it's all these wonderful things. I have none of this. I'm nowhere near that right now. At least it doesn't seem like it. So I'm like, I try my best to help people, and it just doesn't even get received, recognised. It's Life's hard, you know. So I closed my eyes listening to this song. Rachel Gray. I can't name the name of the song now. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. So even the name of the song. So I closed my eyes and I had this view. It was like almost like cinematic, but it was like of this mountain. But it was so clear. And I understood immediately, innately, what it meant. You're reaching the top of your mountain. And a bright light came over this at the very top, which is quite low. I knew it was the top of the mountain. It's not you just looking at a mountain. There's a bright light at the top, like an incredible bright light. And it felt peaceful. I'm just watching. And then a hand appeared, like, over the mountain, like, at the top. There's a big hand on, in, almost like it was the hand of God. Um, and I just thought, how beautiful. And you think about it, when someone climbs a mountain, it's not an easy journey, is it? You don't just propel up the mountain. You climb that mountain. So there's always an obstacle, there's always a hurdle, there's always something to overcome. You're going to have to face a lot of obstacles to get to the top. You're going to have to shed layers. You're going to have to alter who you are at times. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. Maybe as you get, maybe as you get higher up the mountain, you can't carry so much. You've got to let some of the baggage go. You know, how much do you really want to get there? So you start shedding layers. You start to purify yourself. You make sacrifices to get to the top. With me, I've had to leave a job that was my stability. It was toxic. It was carrying me down. I would never have reached the top of my mountain if I stayed there. But yet it was my stability. So that I had to forego my stability to try to get to the top of my mountain. I've had to let a lot of people go and I've had to see a lot of people leave. It's been emotional as hell. I get really, really down sometimes, you know, because it's like, it's, 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 it's the loneliness of it, but it's the instability as well. And it's like, I can't, it gets too much. But it's so easy to throw yourself into something that doesn't serve you and give up and take the easy road. The easy road is conforming. The easy road is doing what everybody else is doing. Acting like 
you're living the perfect life, but you're not even doing anything you enjoy. What's the point of that? Accepting mediocrity just because everybody else is. That's not the top of a mountain. That's an illusion of a mountain. I want to get to the peak of my abilities, live my happy ever after, be a success for myself, and if possible, reap rewards for that. That would be nice. So when I saw that, it did give me peace. It doesn't quite help in the current circumstance, but does confirm and validate a lot of the signs I receive. And I do. I mean, I get a lot of cards when I pull my own tarot cards or the the opportunity that's coming. But again, I think when you're struggling just to get by and you're in survival mode, it's a hard place to be. But I think you often find those that achieve something remarkable you have to throw everything on the line. It's almost like you're at the casino and you're throwing all your chips in. You're like, now it's make or break. Now or never, you know. Um, so anyway, in the pit of my despair, when I'm incredibly emotional, I've got my eyes closed listening to this song. And in the song, Rachel Gray, I'll Be Okay, it was surreal because she was singing it and I have this hand of God, this massive bright light at the top of the mountain. It's like a mountain that had that snow at the top, you know. So it's like one of those mountains. It's quite beautiful. And then as she said, fade to black. It's almost like the curtain close, you know, fade to black. And then it all started dimming. The light faded and it went dark. I thought, wow, that was weird. Like the timing was incredible. The fact that that's in sync with the song. Um, I know I should be meditating more to get those pure signs. But like I said, my mind is always firing and I wouldn't be surprised if they've, again, everything happens how it's supposed to. It's probably their way to make me sit still. Make me stop for a moment and start having those moments to connect. But what a vivid image. It was pure in itself. You know, no one can take that away. No one can portray a different sign. It's what I got. It was pure. Um. And I and a, and a, and a great part was I immediately knew what it meant without even having to decipher. As soon as before I even saw the light, before I even saw the hand, and I saw the mountain, I knew what it meant. I think the snow helped. You know, you got the snow at the top, so straight away you're at the top of the mountain. That's a great sign. And then the light shining at the top was quite beautiful because it's kind of like you know you got there. It's almost like a celebration. You, 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 you get your, you're nearly there. You're on your mountain. Um, but yeah, I just trying to show people really that there's a point to the things we go through. It's not always easy. Quite emotional. We often have to break ourselves down to build ourselves up. And it's just uh, how much do you want something? You know, being envious and jealous of someone doesn't get you anywhere. It's not going to get you to where you need to be. And even if you manage to have what someone else had, it would be short-lived because you haven't worked to become who you need to be to attain that. To have the hand of God in an image would suggest that my path is blessed by God. He supports what I've done and what I'm doing, or they, or whatever is supporting. And I think that's quite beautiful because it's well-deserved. doesn't matter what people think. That's the part we need to get away from. I don't care what people think of me. That doesn't bother me at all. It's what my angels think of me. You know, and then the higher echelon within that realm, where we come from. What do they think of my journey? How do they perceive me? Am I doing well enough? Yeah, that, that's what matters to me the most. So people can get jealous in this life, but they, they don't see everything. Our angels see everything we do. So they can see the purity in it. The sincerity. They can see behind the mask of everybody. Um, so I did a video yesterday about intentions. Intentions are everything because that's what they judge us on. Is your intentions pure? Do you have a good heart? Are you vengeful? Are you greedy? Are you power hungry? They know. Um, like I say, the good things sometimes take longer because they have to be built. They have to tear us down to rebuild us make us be more resilient so we can stand and be able to receive what it is we need to walk into, sometimes humble us, 
sometimes make us feel that emotion to make us stronger.